Hello and welcome. I'm Misty from MistyOlson.com and today I am here to do a quick tutorial for a Facebook friend. Her name is April and today I have a quick tutorial um, how I make um, my own golden um, kind of fluid paints but I like to use Atelier's interactive paint. They're actually my favorite paint. I actually love them a lot more than I do golden paint even though I have them, but I like them because um, they have a little bit of a slower drying time and not only that, but they're reactivatable like oil paints. Um, you can look it up on YouTube. Everybody tells you to reactivate them with water. I don't recommend you doing that because what happens is you break down the binding molecules and that's not really good for your paint. It won't stay on your canvas forever. So I recommend using um, airbrush medium to reactivate them. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going um, to make the golden fluids. Um, high, uh, I'm gonna create a high flow fluid using Atelier. And actually this video is dedicated to April because she's the one who asked me about this. So the first thing I'm going to do is, you know, obviously uh, choose a color. I'm going to put um, just a little bit of airbrush fluid down at the bottom. And then I'm going to give a squeeze of Naples Yellow Reddish, which is a coral color, it's a peach, and um, which is one of my favorite colors. And then what I like to do is I just do a small little bit and get that mixed up and see how that works. I'm only going to put a drop there. And I'm just blowing it out with my breath. And as you can see, um, it is pretty transparent but it moves around just like um, the, f the high flow paints. So now, uh, you know, in order to finish off this bottle, the only thing that you have to do is not, I just eye it. I never really um, do a lot of measuring. I just give pretty much, I don't know if you will be able to see that, but I squeeze about that much paint <laughs> into the bottle. Not very much. And I fill it about two thirds of the way with airbrush medium. So I fill it up to right about there. <coughs> Excuse me. Shake it up really, really good. And you can watch it flow just like the fluids. I really like it. And you can make them as transparent or opaque as you like and still have the high fluid effect. Um, I also wanted to demonstrate how they work with jelly plates um, because that was one of that's actually the question that prompted this. So I'm just going to add some color to, I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing or if it's gonna be pretty. I'm just going to spread out. And this here, I'm using uh, latex. This is the um, bronze uh, and I love bronze. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add I'll take my, and this is something I like to do. Okay, and then I'll add, that was quite a bit, just a few little dots of teal. So 
Smush out the tail. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a stencil on. lay the paper on top and I like using a brayer brush to make sure I get it really good and this is what I get for the first attempt And then I'll add a little bit more green. Oh, it's really teal. on there. Okay. Then add the lattice one more time. And this time what I'm going to do is just lightly mist the top. I'm going to use the paper on the back side. Didn't rub it good enough the last time when I did it. So I will this time. And this is what I get with the first layer. And I will actually show you what I've done with another. Using the Atelier, this is um, one of the pages that I got, and I really liked it. And what I want you to do is go ahead and lift that up. I'm going to give it just a light spritz and just using a scrap piece of paper I will lay it on top of the pad This is what it looks like for the second. I'm going to spritz it down with just a little bit more water. Grab another spare sheet of paper. Lay that right on. And this is what I get for the next time. I will spray this down one last time, but there's not a lot of paint on there, as you can see. Um, it's pretty gone. 
but it's a nice way to uh, clean your jelly plate. And I am going to use the roller this time, mainly because I just want to pick up all that paint. And that is the last um, print that I'll be able to get. I'll take my baby wipe and give a, a just a quick wipe. Now I don't, I myself don't use um, high flow inks um, unless I'm doing um, like a layer or something. So, but what I wanted to do is just show you what it would look like. And actually what I'm going to do is kind of dry off <laughs> the jelly plate. because this is pretty watered down. So I'm just going to use um, a spare piece of paper, just a scrap piece. And the good thing about um, this um, high flow that you create, you can control the opacity. Actually, I think that looks kind of cool. And I'm going to see what that does. Okay. And then I'll lay down my piece. kind of uh, lift that off of there. So and then what I'll do for one last time is just kind of get the rest of it off. So I hope that you have found this um, helpful April. Uh, you just have to experiment with these paints and get them to a point um, where you like them. Um, I myself uh, don't really care to use the high flow. Um, I, I well, a second or third layers um, to um, the jelly print I do, or maybe even a first layer if it's just going to be like a, a kind of like get rid of the white kind of thing. Um, but I find that I like um, heavy body, you know, a little bit of a, a heavier body paint when I, you know, do this. So. I hope that you found that helpful and uh, I really do hope you have a lovely day and I will see you back here.